How to apply for a grant? A grant is money given by one party to another that does not need to be repaid. Grants are typically given by a government agency or philanthropic organization to fund specific projects by a nonprofit entity, educational institution, a business, or an individual. Although each grant requires different processes, we are going to learn four different methods to apply for grant. Method number one. Applying for U.S. federal government grants. You can identify potential grant funding opportunities by searching the federal government's grant website located at grants.gov. The website allows you to search by keyword, funding opportunity number or CFDA number, which is the five-digit number assigned to the grant by the federal government. Quickly review the search results by clicking on the funding opportunity number which is a hyperlink that will redirect you to additional information about the grant. There will be four hyperlink tabs, read through the description of the grant to determine whether it meets your needs. Once you have preliminarily identified a list of potential grants, closely read the grant's eligibility section and the full announcement to determine whether you meet the requirements. Scope of work or research parameters of the grant. Once you have determined that you meet the eligibility and scope of work requirements, download the grant application. In order to submit a grant application, you must register with grants.gov as either an individual or business applicant. You must then use your username and password to log into grants.gov in order to request access and approval. Once you complete these steps and you are approved, your organization will be registered with grants.gov and able to submit grant applications. Each grant will provide you with instructions in addition to the grant application materials. You must closely review the instructions when preparing your grant proposal. Most grants require that you submit a grant proposal that clearly shows how you meet all of the grant's requirements, a budget, and what you intend to accomplish with the grant money. Once you have finalized your materials, you are ready to submit your grant. You can track the status of your application. The system will tell you if your application was received but will not tell you whether you were awarded the grant. This information will come directly from the agency awarding the grant money. Method number two. Applying for a federal Pell Grant. Go to website www.studentaid.gov. Pell Grants do not need to be repaid like student loans. Therefore, if you qualify for a Pell Grant you can significantly reduce the amount of your college tuition with no further financial repayment obligation. When choosing a college, you should check with the school's financial aid office to make sure that they participate in the Pell Grant program. When researching schools, be sure to identify the federal school code for each school so that you can include it on your financial aid application. You can locate federal school codes at studentaid.gov. In order to be eligible for a Pell Grant or numerous other federal student aid funding possibilities, you must complete a FAFSA. You can apply for FAFSA online and will be required to provide the following information, your social security number, your most recent federal income tax returns, bank statements, your FSA ID. You can include the college codes for up to 10 schools to which you plan to apply. Once your FAFSA is reviewed, you will receive a student aid report that is based on the financial information included in your FAFSA. After you submit your college applications and you are accepted, the school will provide you with your financial aid package. If you are eligible for a Pell Grant and the school participates in the program, then the Pell Grant should be included in your aid package. Method number three. Applying for grants in the European Union. Similar to the grants.gov website in the United States, the European Union created a centralized website, www.europa.eu, where users could search for grants and public contracts. Grants are used to co-finance specific projects or missions and usually hold open calls for proposals. Rather than providing a keyword search function, the European Commission created categories for grants such as culture, education and youth, and employment and social rights. This page will show you all of the available grants under the selected category. Select each grant under the subheading and closely read the materials related to the grant to determine whether your project or business meets the grant's requirements. Your proposal must address each grant requirement in order to be considered. 
The purpose of EU grants is to allow grant beneficiaries to break even financially and they are not meant to help generate a profit. Typically, grants are awarded to public or private organizations, and on rare occasions they are awarded to individuals. You must determine whether there are regional limitations to funding by determining which agency manages grants in your region and then contact them to receive specific information about the grants for which you are interested. Once you have determined that you are eligible, follow the specific grant instructions for applying and include all requested information. Method number four. Applying for Carnegie Corporation Grants. Just go to www.carnegie.org. The Carnegie Corporation always accepts requests for funding, however, it only welcomes inquiries from potential grantee organizations whose work fits within their grant-making programs, education, democracy, higher education and research in Africa, and international peace and security. Carnegie grants are available to universities, colleges, and institutions related to higher learning and citizenship. They do not offer grants to individuals, religious organizations, political campaigns, scholarships and endowments. Write a letter of inquiry that addresses the following points in five pages or less. What problem does your project address? Explain how the project meets the current program's requirements. List all sources of potential support. If the proposed project fits the foundation's guidelines, you may be contacted within six weeks and asked to submit a proposal in the corporation's format. Thanks for watching.